disgrace. Because, uh, have you seen the security here? This is a university campus. I'm 72 years old. I'm some big threat. It's, it's people who are threatening me. And why are they threatening me? It's because I'm a conservative and I'm saying things that are unpleasant to their ears. And the administration is powerless to do anything because the faculty on this university is so left wing and so behind this suppression of free speech that the university administration knows that they will have a huge problem on their hand if they do anything uh, to ensure that I, I get a, a, a fair hearing and that the college Republicans are not marginalized and treated like second class citizens on this campus. Uh, so if you would all uh, join me in introducing David Horowitz. Infantile disorders at UC Santa Barbara. Uh, have you ever seen uh, the uh, quite the uh, array of police that you have to have on a university campus because somebody is coming to give a talk uh, who is not the president of the United States or some important person? Uh, I, if I were a student at this university, I'd be embarrassed by what's happened <clears throat> over this event. Um, when the College of Republicans proposed it, there was a frenzy. It was a five-hour meeting uh, to deny funds to make this event possible. You, you are being cheated of an education, but you're also being cheated of a birthright as an American. That's what our men and women die for protect that right. And you need to do something about it on this campus because the situation that surrounded my speech is a disgrace. And nothing will be done about it unless you do. Thank you. event and there were two sides of the story and um, there were students like myself who fought to have you come and we did end up funding part of this event and um, I would um, I'd like to say that there are other students sitting here that um, did argue and fight for this event to happen and to occur and I'd like um, for um, you recognize that there were two different sides to the story. There was a very long discussion in public forum and question and answer, and um, we did find you. I'm very glad that you came. I applaud you for supporting this I, I hope that you will, when the, when the college Republicans come again, I hope that you're in a majority and will fund them fairly. But until then, uh, I don't know if you've, have you been up to the FIRE website, FIRE is the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education. It's an organization that was formed by a liberal and a conservative. Um, Harvey Silverplate is a Democrat. Alan Coors uh, is a Republican. Um, and it stands for First Amendment Rights. And they have sent a letter to your chancellor that your student government, and not you, you are in the minority, has uh, broken the law and that they intend to do something about it. I have to read that letter. All right. Um, anyway, thank you for coming thank you. and thank you for speaking out. And you can definitely tell by how evident uh, the crowd listened, very respectful, uh, no interruptions. So it was, it was very, it, I think it was very successful in the fact of opening and broadening minds and allowing people to listen respectfully and really develop their own opinions. So would you say it was much different than the event held three years ago? Absolutely. I think, I think the, uh, it was a lot more civil. I think people were a lot more respectful. And I think, you know, yeah, definitely change. What do you think about the title, Infantile Disorder? I think it was addressed appropriately. You know, as it was explained during the during his speech, it was it was MSA and a lot of other student organizations were afraid of what he was going to say and what he was going to bring to campus. And I feel that they really missed out on an opportunity to come to campus, I would come to this lecture, and really challenge their Those own thoughts, and then challenge, and then challenge his thoughts and his and what he has said at that Q and A session. Okay. 